uh, earlier in the book, there's a, uh, there's a place where it says that it talks about before we ever come to believe in God or even that AA will work, it says we will come to believe in the hopelessness and futility of our life as we've been living it. And I, I believed that. Before I ever believed AA would work for me, before I ever really started to believe in a power greater than myself, I believed in that. And isn't it, it's, it's, I think spiritual growth, is, it's a funny thing. It doesn't come from education. And I, I really know that. I had a, a dear friend who uh, died a few years ago with a lot of years of sobriety. He was a Catholic priest who had studied and taught theology at the Vatican. And, he's, and was a drunk doing that for years. And he said it wasn't until he came into AA that he started to really connect with God. And it really wasn't from educating himself more in spiritual things. Because he was at the top of the food chain as far as education and, and intellectual knowledge about God. It came from throwing some of that stuff out. That spiritual growth always comes from subtraction. It never comes from addition. Never. And that's really my story. And the subtraction was that I, I got to the place where I believed in the hopelessness and futility. My best thoughts and ideas had failed me. And I'm dying here, and I've tried everything else. Uh, they say it, there's a saying in AA that, that Alcoholics Anonymous is the last house of the block, on the block. I think within AA, sometimes God is the last house on the block also. 